friends welcome to the channel as you know i am a fan of 2.6 however in this season uh, nowadays i am continuously facing with lava loon or mega knight balloon or giant skeleton balloon decks and uh, also Golem Night Witch Beatdown decks and with this deck at least for me it's difficult to win against those kind of matchups so I looked for another type of uh, hog deck and I found this this is also used in some uh, competition level uh, tournaments so I decided to give it a try and I think it's not bad especially the earthquake is a very very effective card if your opponent has uh, buildings but one shortcoming of this deck is if the opponent has a minion horde it's really very difficult to uh, win against them another difficult type of deck is barbarians yes since you don't have a big spell that directly kill those type of swarm units it's a little bit tricky but other than that for example against many of the balloon decks whether they contain mega knight or knight knight or not this is a very effective deck okay that's enough for talk and let's go and look at our activity log to replay some matches Okay, let's start with this one. We are facing Jeff from Grande Columbra. We send our hog immediately. It's safe play to use your hog as an opening play with this deck, I think. We use our snowball against the goblin gang. I couldn't put the skeletons in time. This is a mistake. My me our musky is advancing and Utada Vekka Pekka kills her instantly. How shall we deal with this deck with Pekka? You generally use your bomb tower and use another tro troop. Oh, another big push by the opponent, however, we are able to defend it with our musky and skeletons. This is a single musky and it is destroyed by goblin gang. We send our hawk and dark knight together with evis stops our hawk. I'm waiting for my Valkyrie and we use our Valkyrie opponent uses the battle ramp we use snowball to slow it down skeletons and wow we use our bats to minimize the damage and send our hawk another trick here friends if you use earthquake uh, the other land units also slow down troops are slowing down together with the tower so you can get extra hits although there is a pekka there we send our hawk we use our earthquake create kills 
Goblin Gang We use our Walkway To tank We send our Hulk and we use Earthquake To slow down the P.E.K.K.A and yes we get the tower And if we can defend we use our Bomb Tower and as you see although my bomb tower is level 12 it doesn't bring up a big problem okay after jeff we face with a golem deck i cannot read uh, the clan name and the player name so I'm sorry for that. Opponent uses guards to counter our hog. We use our walk wheel. And Golem is coming down the left lane. Our walk wheel is advancing. One hit, two hit. 3 hit, 4 hit, wow, very good, 4 hits from our Valkyrie, we put our musky directly on the baby D, oh, the opponent has also the lightning, but we are able to defend, our Valkyrie is advancing in the left lane. We send our Hulk. Use the Earthquake. A mini P.E.K.K.A. Skeletons. Trying to distract the mini P.E.K.K.A. And will it be enough? Yes. We are able to defend against mini P.E.K.K.A. The Night Witch is coming down the left lane. We use our bomb tower and immediate Pekka on the bridge. A strange play, I think. Okay, we got rid of the bats. That's one of the most threatening the uh, units in Pekka decks, uh, sorry, Golem Big Town decks. What shall we do now? We send our Hog and use Earthquake and also Snowball. Come on, come on, Maski, where are you? Come and destroy this baby D. Yes, we are able to destroy the baby D. If we can defend, we will win. Okay, that's not bad. We send our hole just to apply pressure, not to land. Let him play another golem. And as you see, we win. Okay, after this, we face with Sniper from New World FR. This is a bad hand for me. What should I play? Oh, the opponent puts down a balloon and the wizard behind the balloon. Okay, we use our bomb tower. and that to deny all the damage from the balloon mini pekka and a minor attack we use our skeletons to defend i couldn't hit all of the bats oh interesting play
I think this is a misplay by me also. I could play it very near to my princess tower. It would be better. Another balloon is coming. Oh, another big mistake by me. When you do such mistakes, you must face the consequences of your mistakes. We send our hawk. And Minipekka tries to block our hawk. However, by the help of our skeletons, our hawk manages to take the tower. A giant skeleton at the back. What shall we do? We are leaking elixir. We use our bats on top of a <coughs> giant skeleton and on the rock we We use a bomb tower to build both the mini pekka and the balloon we are able to defend we use our bats to defend the <coughs> skarmy if we can defend six seconds we will win Yes, we are able to defend and we win the match. Thank you, Sniper. That was a good game. After Sniper, we face Sinat from 30 plus Holland clan. We send our hawk, executioner and goblin gang counters our hawk. We use our snowball on the goblin gang. I will try to take out the executioner with my bat only. And wow, that's a 2 to 5 elixir trade. And he is coming, oh, with a P.E.K.K.A. How shall we defend? We use our <coughs> bomb tower, we use our rock wheel, and we are able to defend. What shall we do now? We send our hawk, we wait, the opponent, interestingly, does not put anything but uses <coughs> the inferno dragon what should we do we use our earthquake on the furnace we use musky and the opponent sends a goblin gank i think this walk was unnecessary We use our bats on top of the P.E.K.K.A. Opponent uses the Zap. Now we can safely use our skeletons. And... Yes. That's good. We send our hook to the left side tower. We use our earthquake. And I think the opponent quit it. Yes, as you see, although his elixir bar is full, he doesn't play anything. And we 
easily to the ground pin. Thank you, Sinat. And I think this is all. Yes, friends, let's look at this deck again. As you have seen in the replace, although I have done a couple of serious mistakes in playing this deck, uh, it's quite good, I think. You can try if you are uh, continuously facing with balloon decks or the Mega Knight balloon decks or Golem beatdown decks this deck may be a little bit easier than 2.6 and as you see its average elixir cost is also not that high it's 3.0 okay friends i think this is enough for this video hope to see you in our next video